Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Aries Sun, uh, Moon and Rising, Monte Tarot reading for September 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the cards. And we can jump straight away, uh, straight away into it. All right, that's good enough, I think. So, uh, the first card which stands for the month itself or for the topic, what is going to be the general theme in it, is going to be the Ace of Wands, which is off of a, a fantastic start here. The next one uh, represents the, the peripheral activities that you can go for, you know, chores and <clears throat> tasks that you can create for yourself, things that are completely optional. That is uh, the Ace of Swords. Followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that uh, you need to overcome throughout the month. That will be the Page of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the month here. Things which are helping you. That is going to be the Moon card. And then the last one is going to be the Guidance that uh, Taro is offering for you, Aries. Oops. That is going to be the Five of Cups. So the month is going to be uh, dappled with uh, new enterprises for you, for what it seems. Although you may find it a bit difficult to, how can I pray, how can I say it, to align with all of them? Uh, just because there will be a specific individual there which is going to obstruct you of uh, taking, you know, those kind of gaining for enterprises, and they're going to be not just one, but there will be many of them. So before we go into all that, let's uh, run the cards down one more time. We do have the Ace of Wands, which is the general topic, the theme of the month, followed by the peripheral activities with the Ace of Swords. Afterwards, we do have the Page of Cups, which stands for the challenge that you need to overcome. Then we do have the positive aspect of the Moon card. And the final... <clears throat> card here is going to be the five of cups which represents the top the uh, the guidance that Tsar is offering to you all right so uh, going with the ace of wands as a topic the ace of wands speaks for new beginnings and gaining for enterprises just as I said now these things are usually a an enterprises which you are not used to um, execute, meaning that there will be a creative chaos, a lot of things for you to learn how to adapt, you know, and how to tackle with all those kind of things, and that will uh, also allow you Aries to uncover some slumber talents, to become more aware of where your capabilities lies. For example, in a sense of that, uh, you know, you are to. Um, improve certain skills which haven't been into your arsenal up until this moment the accompanied card here is going to be the star card so that is a fantastic combo that we do have active friends first of all star card 
ask first of all points that you are gonna uh, receive a lot of support through uh, developing those enterprises gaining for enterprises meaning that the majority of the people are not gonna giving give you a hard time but now since I looked at the follow-up cards we know that one specific individual one specific person is gonna give you a hard time and should you have children one of your child is going to be but we are gonna get there in a minute so uh, yeah um, from the majority of the people you are going to receive support so you can develop those skills of yours and take full advantage of those opportunities which from another hand having the star card here promises a, a long-term fulcrum a long-term goal all right which you can develop that are uh, that can manifest into a wish fulfillment dream comes true and so on and so forth but you need to know that although the star card promises wish fulfillment and dream comes true it is a, a long road all right it is a, a long way up until you reach that point this is just the beginning but one thing i can say one more thing finally i can say for these cards is that you are to have an, a, a clearance an opening those enterprises are to start coming around it is because a certain situations of turmoil certain situation of of uh, situations all right of obstructions are no longer going to uh, have an influence upon your life so uh, going for the next one which stands for the peripheral activities here with the ace of swords so um it's it's very abstract to be honest with the ace of swords i need one more card here to say that is going to be the eighth the knights of pentacles so first of all we do have a active enemies and uh basically what these two cards are pointing is that you need to cut on the shenanigans and the bullshits there are quite a lot of activities that you are pushing on into your environment with these two cards that are quite um that are quite unnecessary for you to do um, in a sense of that you know they are just appearing as a uh, i'm sorry guys that's my tv let me um uh, let me deal with this all right so yeah there are quite a lot of activities that are just consuming your time all right and are wasting your resources and therefore you don't need to feel yourself obliged to proceed on forward with those um with those activities so you need to stand in front of those people that are also involved into these activities or just stand in front of the mirror you know and and determine yourself not to waste your time any longer you know or not to waste your resources any longer uh, like I said these activities are quite peripheral they don't have any substantial uh, influence upon your well-being or upon a, a deterioration going on forward so you can completely you know leave them uh, leave them behind the next one is about the challenges that you need to overcome that is going to be the um, page of cups so that is the person uh, it could be your child if you do have children is going to be your uh, your child and uh, like I said uh, when I said obstruction I didn't mean it like it is a premeditated obstruction for example your child may require a lot of your attention throughout the months therefore depriving you from having a lot of time you know to try out all these gaining for uh, enterprises opportunities and new beginnings as well because the whole thing is going to be very uh, dynamic okay and while you're in the midst of all that dynamic trying to juggle with couple of things even three things at time you know your child in the same time demands your attention demands your um influence into their life and that is making it extremely extremely difficult why this is happening well it is because this person or your child uh, kind of have some sort of a uh, awakening i would say that they have decided to do something completely different or they have decided to proceed in a in a different uh, in a different direction from that they have strived right now realizing that what they are they were trying to do up until this moment yields no benefits whatsoever and for that reason you know they are completely changing direction and that's like i said demands your attention as well the accompanied card here is going to be the ace of cups and uh formation it is a, a passive uh 
passive supporters. So with the Ace of Cups, that full changing the direction is even amplified. But with the Ace of Cups, we do have one more thing here. Obviously, it's about love, all right? Especially if we're talking about business. So you do have many gaining for enterprises in there, you know, into your business, trying to develop as much as you can. And you do have that person into your business that has emotional connection to you you know it's i don't i can't say that it loves you but i it takes you more than just a co-worker co -worker, let's say it that way and so it is because they don't want to see you failing uh, is giving you a hard time of taking advantage of these things you know it's, it's just the common sense here where uh, someone is trying to make you think twice before you act while well, you don't have time to think twice before you act okay <clears throat> so the next one is going to be about the positive aspect and that is going to be the moon card so uh, the moon card here shows that many of those enterprises opening for you Aries are going to be a bit intimidating, in intimidating, excuse me. Uh, that is because um, you, you are going to have that impression that you are lacking control over the situation in a sense of that you cannot say what if you exert certain actions or if you put into um, that enterprise certain resources, what is going to come out of it. Now, the moon card here reassures that whatever you do with those enterprises is to be a, a substantial thing for your life, although you're not seeing it that way this time around. <clears throat> the accompanied card here is going to be the King of Wands formation. It is a active, uh, passive enemies, excuse me, that we do have. So, <clears throat> you are to... Um, how do I place it in words here? So you are to address those uh, those new beginnings, uh, which are not in which are not that grand uh, new beginnings, guys. You need to make a difference in between the the the, the full card and the uh, Ace of Wands. So the full card, the new beginning there, it is an entire new beginning. It's like a new chapter into one's life, while the Ace of Wands manifests itself like new beginning, like a new project, you know, new beginning, like a new relationship, you know, new beginning, like. Like a, uh, I don't know, um, a new idea as well. Many, many of these things are coming around which are making your life quite dynamic. So these two cards are um, saying that you are to address all of these enterprises and new, beginning, new beginnings with a, a great sense of uh, emergency and as well um, a big, is it, is it how it goes? How should I call it? Well, it's kind of like a... Um, big standpoint of um, of seriousness so you're going to be very very serious about these uh, stuff uh, <clears throat> recognizing that they ain't a, a walk in the park but the best thing about these two cards as well is that you ain't gonna rush the uh, rush the issue because um, it, it may kind of like lead you to more waste than gain and uh, before you actually make any major decisions or any major you know actions you are to make your um make your research as best as you can and the last one here it is the guidance that is going to be the five of cups and um, I, that reminds my of myself a lot it is because in my life nothing happens from a first try and that is the guidance here you know even if the first try does not yield the results that you are expecting will try anew because eventually things are to happen the five of of cups here points that although you may end up disappointed with some of those actions that you do or you know or some of those enterprises that you take that you take you shouldn't deviate from the path that you have chosen for a reason that this disappointment or a loss is just a, a temporary one it's not a permanent end it is not because of you but because of a circumstances that you had no control over and though when those circumstances are no longer in present you will be able to push your things through the accompanied card is going to be the seven of cups we do have a passive supporters here so with the seven of cups and the five of cups it is a best you know uh, i mean your emotions can carry you away uh, of the disappointment once again so something isn't happening the way you are anticipating and you are severely disappointed disappointed having no um no enthusiasm to push it even further and for that reason <clears throat> you need to be rather grounded and objective uh, for seeing that 
it is because of an exterior circumstances and when they are over you can't proceed forward with it once once again you know so do not give yourself uh to succumb to the um to the emotional distress wherever that emotional distress is in present it's not going to be everywhere you know but there could be some enterprises you really want to happen you really want for them to happen but it may not happen from a first try and for that reason you need to try again so uh, that being said Aries this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for September 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye